Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Eugenie Scott. Wow, there's a whole bunch of people here. Thank you all for coming. So, what is this idea of evolution that is so objectionable? If you're going to understand evolution, you need to understand it the way scientists understand it. And to us, evolution is a three-part idea. There's the big idea of evolution, which is the idea that living things share common ancestors. The inference of common ancestry is studied in two ways. One is, to by look, one is by looking at the processes or mechanisms of evolution. Obviously, Darwin's idea of natural selection is exceedingly important in this. But there are other mechanisms of evolution as well, some of them non-selective, like drift and so forth. And um, all of these various components of evolution go into how we understand this process of descent with modification. Then we also look at the patterns in the, of evolution. How does this tree of life generated by this, um, uh, this uh, descent with modification work? Uh, who's related to whom? Um, what are the uh, uh, ancestral and descendant lineages and so forth and so on? Now, what's kind of interesting is that these three components of evolution are all conceptually distinct because the kinds of data and inference that we use to um, come to that conclusion that living things have shared common ancestors are very, very different from the data and inferences that we use to uh, study either the pattern or the process. They're all related, sure, but you know, Darwin came up with his inference of, of, natural, of, of uh, common ancestry based upon things like all the various homologies of, of um, an anatomy and, um, and uh, embryology and so forth and so on, and by biogeography, things like that. Today, uh, when um, uh, evolutionary biologists are researching the processes of evolution, they, they rely very strongly upon genetic mechanisms, and they re rely upon molecular biology and biochemistry, fields that really weren't even existence when Darwin came up with his idea of evolution through natural selection. And the processes and mechanisms of evolution are really studied through these other kinds of, of mechanisms. You know, biogeography isn't going to tell you anything about natural selection. Natural selection per se doesn't tell you anything about the tree of life. Uh, if birds are descended from dinosaurs, it doesn't matter whether it's natural selection or something else that brought it about. So these three aspects of evolution are all conceptually independent. And you really have to understand all three of them if you're really going to understand what evolution is all about.